You can use that hashtag existing photographs if that's what you want. I don't mind. I want everybody to use that hashtag. I'm not trying to dominate the marketing and watch people copy me. I'm trying to teach you ways of getting traction. I'm trying to teach you ways of getting noticed. If you want to use exist in photographs, hashtag exist in photographs for your children, for yourself. Exist in photographs for your children, for yourself, for the people that love you, trust me. We need to, as photographers, tell the world why they need to pay us to take their photographs. And we need to stop competing with each other as photographers just long enough to get aside from our really big heads that says it's not about you. It's about the person that one day looks back on a photograph in 20 years time and says, look at these photographs, look what we own. This is more priceless than anything my family could ever buy. This is more priceless than anything I could own. That's what you're making. You're not making a Facebook following. You're not making, you're not making yourself into the next big thing. You're not trying to, what you're trying to do is get paid by creating timeless, incredible images that people will cherish cherish for the rest of their lives. There's, oh, there's a line in that video that is so hard for me to say because this is how deeply I feel it. One day your children will look for photographs of you. What will they have? Oh my gosh, I must have recorded that about eight times because I was like, just say it without crying. I'm sitting in my office on my own, but I'm so, and, and you know what? I haven't lost a parent. I've got both of them, but I am so jolted by that. The reason I'm jolted by that is because I went through a period of my life where I wouldn't be photographed because I hated myself so much. So I understand the power of, I understood the power of not being able to see myself. And I understood the power of not thinking I was good enough to have a photograph of my life. And I understood, but mine was not about loss. Mine was not about losing anybody. Mine was about losing myself. So I was so jolted by that statement that I was trying to say it on the video without my voice like cracking up the way I do. But I am so emotionally attached to that statement that I challenge you. I challenge you right now, whether you've lost a parent, a best friend, I challenge you right now to put hashtag exist in photographs for the world. Because as a portrait nation, as a photography nation, we need to, world, global message needs to be that you need to have beautiful photographs. You are good enough to be in a family portrait. You are good enough to be photographed with your kids. You are good enough to exist in photographs. You must celebrate your life. I don't care how fat you think you are. I don't care how old you think you are. My job as a portrait photographer is to take the most beautiful photograph you have ever seen of yourself so that you can cherish this for the rest of your life and that your children can love it and enjoy it and it will be more meaningful than anything your family will own and yes it might cost you a few hundred dollars but trust me the value of what we'll create for you today is far greater than anything that you could ever buy and I believe that with every cell in my being and I want to infuse it into my message and I want to infuse it into my life and I want to stop acting like this. Life is a dress rehearsal, people, because it's not. <laughs>